check this out and I think Hello. Hello. Good to see y'all. Would you like to introduce yourself? I am Nidhi Nahata, founder of Just to Be Resto Cafe. Here you are. Just to Be is India's first whole food plant-based restaurant and I'm psychotherapist, also a sound healer and today a DLC member of the Global Health and Wellness Committee. Let's go ahead. Describe yourself in one sentence. I am a very interesting person and because I find myself interesting, I find everything around me interesting and everybody around interesting and that's how I see life. Describe your professional self in a hashtag. Hashtag just be. Which city did you grow up in? Mumbai. How would you describe your occupation? So I am an employee of nature because I'm doing his work and I serve food which he has designed for our body. What is the best part about it? That one meal at Just Be, this food I serve, actually contributes to your own health, cruelty against animals and the planet. One quote from a book or a movie that has motivated you? Shah Rukh Khan's dialogue. That koi cheez shiddat se hum jab mangte hain na tab puri kainat lag jati hai use pura karne ke liye aur jab wo pura hota hai tab ehsaas ho jata hai ki kainat bhi aapke sath sehmat hai i love this dialogue hey come in this is our studio your take on food is our medicine and medicine is our food because nature has designed everything to heal us and when we eat food directly the way nature is serving us it has all the properties what medicine does but it doesn't cure nature cures describe in one word your love for plant based food wholesome what is whole food plant based diet whole food is food which has which is rich in fiber and nutrients when we eat food without them all the ailments and complications start best dish of just be cafe chef special pizza curated by me as you have different meal offerings how do you curate for each customer all my ingredients in my kitchen is natural and nature doesn't design food differently for a bp patient or a cancer patient or a sugar patient right so one meal for all this is what my kitchen serves what is more exciting about vegan food that it's cruelty free and helps me be more compassionate and considerate your go to tip for health conscious people look for fibers and nutrients don't count calories what is your fitness goal to dance smile and be active till i'm alive what is your morning fitness and wellness ritual i start with meditation the vipassana and then definitely a walk also my stretches and a glass of ashga juice smoothies and soaked nuts and seeds one diet rule you try to stick to whole food your cheat day meal pani puri but the puri has to be baked How do you deal with the blues? I share with my loved ones. I have to be very confident and I write. Your reaction when you received the Times Food and Nightlife Award in the category of TAFE Best Health Food category. I couldn't have asked for some anything more. I opened the cafe that's here itself and healthy food can get an award. It can be trending. Very very grateful. The best life lesson you have learned from your parents. That just be there for someone when they need. Your favorite childhood memory with your parents. our lunches and dinners on the dining table with loads of conversations your mantra to maintain a work life balance we need to prioritize our life work and uh family life 
and find a balance between that. One environmental because you are really concerned about? Uh, health, because that will really impact globally. What is that one thing you think can make things a bit better? Choosing a whole food plant-based lifestyle can make a global uh, impact. Are you working on or plan to work on any social concern? Food is my domain. And I want to spread awareness about whole food plant-based uh, lifestyle. And actually, I'm on my course, on my way. One humanitarian because you want to take up in your professional capacity? From pharmacy, P-H-A-R-M-A-C-Y, to pharmacy, F-A-R-M-A-C-Y. That's what I want to do. Which was your first breakthrough project? I think every weekend when I see the cafe full, it's a breakthrough for me. And uh, when people say that they love the food, I win. How did it feel when you first got the news for Excellence in Food and Health category at Times Power Women 2019? Very, very grateful for recognizing the work which I am doing because I started off this project where there was no demand for it. I had to create a demand to supply. Usually it is that you supply what is in demand, right? And I was doing the other way around. So when I got this and I said, maybe I'm on the right path. Your favorite award for the cafe? At the national level. Best healthy and diet food restaurant of the year at the Indian Restaurant Awards in 2019. What is your business mantra? Give your 100% in whatever you're doing. Don't try to look for something that you just love. Whatever you're doing, just love that. Who has been your key inspirations in this field? Dr. Nandita Shah in India, like she's spreading this uh, work and uh, I learned everything from her. And Dr. Michael Greger, his book is like a Bible to me. Dr. Neil Barnard, he's spreading it globally. They are my inspiration. What are the three qualities one needs to excel in this business? Hard work, giving your 100% to whatever you're doing, and discipline. Biggest challenge when starting off in this field? I was trying to supply something what is not in demand. That was the biggest challenge. Best learning from failure? Every guest who came in and complained about a food, actually, that gave me a chance to improve the taste and the presentation. And uh, actually that helped me grow. With DLC, how do you intend to inspire people? Through my cooking classes and talks, through masterclasses. What according to you makes DLC a unique organization? Like-minded people here, we can make a bigger impact. A message that you would like to give to our viewers? Save your health, save animals, save the planet.